Hey guys, Aaron at AOP Tech here today, and today's quick tip is going to focus on Google Console administration. Specifically, because I know we're here at the end of the year, that means we have those graduating students, we need to remove them from our domain. I'm going to walk you through how to do that. All right, so here we are, it is the end of the school year. You had a class of students who have now graduated. Hopefully you watched or had them watch uh, my previous video around here that talks about how to move their data from one Google account to another Google account. Hopefully they've already done that. At this point now, we need to remove them from your domain because they've graduated, you don't need them on here. So. You're going to log into your Google Admin Console. You're going to click on Users. And for this demonstration, we'll be visiting the one, the only Bayside High School. So here we have Bayside High. You'll notice the fact that I have sub-organizations underneath there by graduating year. This is really a best practice. Uh, it makes it very easy to turn on and off the different Google G Suite apps where, it's, where you know, Hangout, YouTube, access to Gmail. Um, it's a really easy way to manage your user base. So here we have the class of 2017, AC, Screech, and Zach. Now we have two options. We can delete or we can suspend. Here's the difference. So now if I delete a user, everything goes away. Their data, their access to any G Suite privileges, that all goes away immediately. Um, now, Google will tell you that you do have like a five-day window that if you accidentally delete something or delete someone, you can recover it. We hope. Um, you know, it's not 100%. I wouldn't rely on it. Um, so, um, deleting, everything's gone. So, if you have a teacher or an administrator and, and they are leaving and you need to remove them from their account, um, what I would recommend doing is you'd want to suspend them first. The reason suspension is different from deletion, when you suspend a user, they no longer have access to any G Suite platform on your domain, so they can't go into email, they can't see their calendar, they can't go into their drive. But what it does do is it keeps their data safe. So let's say someone leaves. A teacher, a principal, an administrator, a staff member, they leave and you go in there and you suspend them. Two weeks later, you get a frantic email. Oh my gosh, I had a file, I really need it. Can you help me get to it? All you have to do is unsuspend that user. They can grab their files and then you can resuspend them. It's very easy and you don't have to worry about losing documents. Now, the problem with that is I will show you how, it, how to go about suspending a user. So let's say I wanted to suspend AC here. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to click on the three, snow, the little snowmen right here, and I'm going to click on suspend. And when I do that, I get this little pop-up box and it says, hey, you'll no longer be able to access uh, the domain, you won't have these features, and I can go ahead and suspend the user. Um, and at this point, he will disappear from here. And in order to see him, I have to come over here to user type and click on suspended users user. Now to unsuspend him, what I would have to do is you'd actually click on the individual person you wanted to unsuspend, come over here to the snowman, and restore user. When that happens, we'll come back to our Bayside High School domain, and he has now been returned. Um, so that is suspension. Now the, the problem with doing that for your students, I imagine that you know you might have 100, 200, 300 students in each grade, um, to go through and suspend each user, that's a lot of clicks. Um, so when it comes to students, I'm going to recommend actually that you just go and move right to deletion. Now certainly give them, you know, some leeway time in terms of, of to move their files over. Um, you know, whether you do that at the end of this year or you do it at the beginning of the school year, give them the summer to manage it, you know, that's up to you. So in order to delete the users, and, and here's a nice thing. I can do a bulk deletion of users. I can't do a bulk suspension of users. Um, I would love that feature and, and, you know, hopefully maybe Google will watch this video and, and put it in the, the next update. So in order to do bulk deletion, I have selected 
all of my students, and this is where having them in that grade level domain makes it really easy. You just boom, 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 you just click all the way down. And then I'm gonna come up here to this snowman up top here. And from here, I'm gonna click delete. Now, Google is gonna give me the opportunity to transfer the data from these users to another user's account. This is really helpful if you have, you know, uh, a staff member leaving and another staff member coming in who needs that, that access. This is great for administrative assistants, administrators, maybe teachers. Uh, there are other ways in the console that you can transfer data, but they always kind of give you this little pop-up. So to get past this, deselect these checkboxes, and then this option down here will change. You'll notice that when I select, it says assign a new user. I say, nope, delete account without. And from there, it'll take a few seconds, and user accounts have been deleted. And once this process happens, it says currently you have no active users in this organization. So you have suspension, deletion, two options, teachers, administrators, you're gonna to wanna to suspend first, wait some time, then delete their accounts. Uh, students, you're going to go right to account deletion. Hey, so hopefully these uh, YouTube videos have been helpful for you. And if you'd like, go ahead and subscribe right in that little box right there. Uh, our website is aoptech.weebly.com. You can find it right over there and some other videos right over there. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.